Please freeze! Probably 30 minutes. Okay? Whoa, 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 relax, alright? That's how I'll be done in 30 minutes. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. Have you been drinking again? No. Get no. Off. Whoa, whoa. Woof. This place reeks like a liquor shack. And you, you look like shit. Okay, listen. If you came here to preach, then you can turn your back and leave. You know, I'm tired of this. Honey, bullshit. honey, 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 I have not come here to preach, okay? But uh, you're taking this job lost the no, wrong I, way. I, I know, but do you have the money? Where's my son? I, I don't know right now. I, I mean, do you have the money? Because, you know. I asked for my he, son. I asked I for money. Him, Is this all you care about? No, he's not here. So, do you have the money? Whoa, I just whoa, want whoa, the whoa, money. Man. Excuse no, me. No, 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 no. He's not. Where are you going? Oh, my God. Honey, you okay? 
Oh no. Oh, you alright? I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. When you come to your senses, no, you give no, me a no, call, no, alright? No, I don't have time to banter but words but with you. You can't leave. I don't. You can't leave. Leave me alone. Listen. Oh! I'm gonna call the immigration on your ass. You know I'm gonna send you back to Africa. Shit. How about that? I tell. If you like, call the Interpol. Okay. What the fuck you is the help. Interpol? Whatever. Man, just come back. I need my shit. Give me my baby. I need money. Any money. That's all. Shit. Now step away from the side, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who tried to run ahead and fetch the car? Uh, officer, officer, what's going, what's going on? What's going on, officer? You have the right to remain silent. What? Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Uh, officer, this That's is obviously a mistake. Okay. No. Do you have any form of identification? Yes, yes, it's in my right pocket. Hi. Change. What's your name? Uh, Eddie. Eddie who? E e Eddie Mokoroji. Eddie who? Eddie Mokoroji. All right, whatever. You need to resolve whatever issues you have with your wife. <laughs> Officer, my wife and I might have a domestic problem. I haven't done anything wrong. Well, tell her to the judge. Your wife thinks otherwise. She is delusional, officer. What you hear, sir? Get you now. <laughs> Whatever. I told you I was going to get your fuck ass in trouble. Look at you. Hi, can I Ma'am, step back. Oh, Ooh, ma'am, have you been sorry. drinking? No, 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 no. Step back, ma'am. I just want to get my you baby. You need to step back. I know, but no. I understand, but can step I just get, I just want to get my baby. Let's something you put. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, I think you had. What is the problem? You need to not touch oh, me. Oh, man, you've been drinking. No, I'm I sorry we cannot give you the baby in this condition. I'm sorry. I drink some water. I'm um, 24 to Can I just take the baby, please? I please just want to go back to my apartment. 250 Lafayette Street. I just want to go back to my apartment. Ma'am, step back. Wait, you're fast. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, excuse me. What? What? What's your name, please? What? Anita. That's good. I'm just right there. See, right there, right there. Anita Can who? Can I please have the baby? Anita who? Anita Nakaroji. Okay. Is that man over there your uh, husband? Yes. No. Is, yeah, but see. Is the man your husband or not, ma'am? Yes. Okay. Okay. No need to get an ex. Can I just take the baby? Is he the father of your child? No. Anita, why don't you say the truth? Shut the hell up. Didn't I tell you to shut the hell up? Right, Why you think right. you in the car? You in the uh, car, right? You in the car? What? I'm what? sorry, but you, you're gonna have to come with us. No, ma'am. No, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not, where am I going? Ma'am, at this time, there's no chance Wait. to get okay. you. Mine, okay, okay. But you know what? You need to get your hands. Wait. You have the right to that hurts. Can you just get your hands off of me? Okay. okay. Now, okay. now you're getting arrested. Can we just turn this off? 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 has been the most horrifying day of my life. You know, first, I run into Anita in a sorry state, drunk and, uh, and high as hell. I see that was not enough. She had the nerve to call the police on me. Man, she called the cops on me and I get arrested. What kind of society do we live in where the police takes the word of a junkie over mine? Dre, you know, my son is the most important thing for me. Okay, I will do anything to protect his life. Okay. I don't know, man. I can't compromise anything with my son. Eddie. Eddie. Not for nothing. But I have a question for you. Uh, Dre, Dre, no, Dre, Dre. No, Dre, no, I, no, no, no! 
No, I do not intend to preach, but I must ask you this. What in the world are you still doing with Anita? She is slowly taking you down with her, man. Dre, call me a fool, all right? Call me a fool, but I can't explain it. Besides, you no, wouldn't understand. No, bullshit, bullshit. You and I know that the pregnancy was a mistake. Look, just give me the word and I will serve her her divorce papers tomorrow. We have enough evidence to declare her an unfit mother. You gained sole custody of your child. Dre, you don't understand. I can't divorce Anita now, and I can't even report why, her to the police. Why not? Huh? Tell me, why not? You won't understand, Dre. Try me. Okay. If I divorce Anita right now, I kiss my green card goodbye. She's my only hope for a green card. Hey, yo, from where I stand, it looks like she want to send you back home, man. Oh, excuse me. Hello? Oh, Ozobio! Ozobio! No, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, man. I can't make it to the airport. No, no, I have this little situation that I'm dealing with. Okay, you, you have the address, right? All right, why don't you take a cab? All right, give the cab the address. Yes. I'll meet you at home. All right, I'm really sorry, man. I'm really sorry. Okay. Bye. What was that? Oh, th that was uh, Ozobia. You remember my Nigerian friend who was spending the vacation? Oh! oh. <laughs> of course, of course. So, uh, where was he calling from? Uh, he's at the airport. So we're going to pick him up? No, no, I told him to take a cab. Uh, all right, well, I have to get back to work. Um, come on, I'm going I'm to I'm drive you home. All right. Yeah. How far is Brooklyn uh, uh, from here? It depends what part of Brooklyn you're going to, my friend. Uh -huh. Not far. Uh, OK, I know it's not far, but how far is not far? It's not far, my friend. Okay, I know it's not far, but how far exactly is not far? Hey, I don't know. I don't know how far is not far. All I know is Brooklyn. It's not far. Okay, okay. Take it easy. Calm down. I mean, I was just trying to find out. Um, anyway, how much is the fare, by the way? $45, sir. $45? No, no, stop, 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 please, please, stop, 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 stop. We have to settle this thing uh, of cafe now and, uh, before we go any further. Please, stop. I mean, how can it be $45 already? We haven't gone any far and it's $45 already. I, I, I don't understand this. I, I can't take this, man. I don't have that much money. You trouble. You really trouble. Get out of my car now. Get out, sir. But what, what did I do? You pay me now before we leave, OK? <laughs> OK, all right. I'll pay you $30. Let's go. Sure, no problem. You pay me $30 and you get out of my car now. That Okay, all right, forty dollars, forty dollars. Lego, get me out what of here. What are you talking about? I you don't pay what the meter says, sir. What the meter says? I don't have time. You pay me now, or get out of my car. Okay, I pay you what the meter says. Forty-five dollars. Okay, you know what? Okay, you pay me fifty dollars before we leave, and I give you a check when we get to Brooklyn. Do I have to pay? No, hurry up now, or you get out of my car. Ha! Huh. What for this American man? Cash. All right, I pay you your fifty dollars. Get me out of this place. Hurry up, sir. Hurry up. Yeah. Oh. Who is it? Who? Ozo! Ozo! Chile! Ozo! Uh, no, no, no. Uh, it's just that. Uh, just what? When guys hug like that, yeah. it sends out a wrong message. What message? That we are homosexuals or what? It must be out of Africa, man. Give it to Anga by good. Nah, nah, no, 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 no. Nah, come inside now. Nah. Come inside. What? What does it matter what people think? Unless you are. Hey, hey, hey. Don't, don't, don't even go there. You know I'm as straight as anything. Uh, nah, my brother, sit down, Jerry. Uh, nah, you look good, man. No wonder you have refused to come back with Well, see who's talking. Didn't they just make you a branch manager? Oh, no, no, no. Don't let that fool you. We are just looking after people's properties. Oh, yeah. give up. <laughs> 
you but like if it? it is that bad here, yeah, why haven't you packed that cup? Nah, it's not easy now. Uh, yeah. You know, it's not easy. Yeah. Uh, do you want something to drink? Yeah, a uh, glass of water is fine. I'll ride back, man. Yes, sir. Hey, you Roji. I got it, I got it. Thank you, man. Thank you. Oh. So tell me, my brother, how is Ogun? Ah, man. Ogun is same old story, man. You know, after the mayhem, uh -huh. some of us ran to the city and all that, thinking that maybe one day they will still come after us and persecute us. But I don't want to start this reunion with that, those sad, sad things, man. Oh. Tell me about yourself. What, are you married? Married. Uh -huh. Well, it all depends on the kind of marriage. Is there two kinds of marriages? Is either you are married or you are not married? Oh, yes. For every immigrant in America, there are two types of marriages. Marriage by choice and marriage by necessity. But I can't explain it. I don't understand. You wouldn't understand, all right? Don't worry about it. Now, listen, I had this little situation today, so I couldn't really prepare any food. So I know you must be hungry. Oh, definitely. They've been giving us all this uh, small chicken feed, <laughs> whatever they've given us in the pen. Like, uh, oh, okay, okay. So what do you feel for? Uh, of course you should know now. A hot ebba. I mean, you see, something like that. Some... Ibo man. Oh, I didn't think I could eat for me. Ibo man. <laughs> that... Yeah, but I know you won't have that here anyway. So anything you have is fine. Anyway, um, there is this Nigerian restaurant. Oh, really? Right? So let's just take a drive down there. Oh, okay. Yeah? All right, man. What is that, Obombi? No, no more. You still know how to play one more. Don't try me. Eh, don't worry. Let's go and come back. And you know I'll how teach it is. I'll man. teach you how to play. What's up, my man? All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, and this must be Ozobio in flesh. Ozo <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, no offense, man, but um, you guys' names is of a different world. I mean, couldn't your mother have given you names like Eddie, Malcolm, Savannah? <laughs> you know, I insist. You must change your name to an American name. Um, from this moment, your name will be Malcolm. <laughs> <Le Bonnet. laughs> change my name and lose my identity. <laughs> oh, later for you, man. Hey, I'm Andre. And um, this here is my old lady. Okay. Clarice. But she's your mother? No, my brother. My old woman. Oh. Excuse me? Old... Clarice is my name. Hi, nice to meet you. Clarice. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dre, um, Ozobia and I were just going to a Nigerian restaurant. Do you guys care to join us? Oh, no. No, man. I mean, nah, let's go. Let's have some okay. Let's just attend to. Shall you just oh, oh, Sure, sure. Yeah. Uh, yo, G, bring me back some fufu. Uh, you know how much it is, right? Oh, you cheap bastard. Look, don't let him infect you with his, um, disease. What disease is that? Cheap itis. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's get out of here, man. Okay. Oh, my God, man. You can't change it. Nah, man, did you enjoy the food? Nah, that is kind of... I don't believe you guys have such a restaurant in, like, well, that, in America. Well, listen, what do you think? We don't eat the food at home? Well... Oh, Lord. Ah, uh, well... But is that why you're not married? Eh? You still that. haven't told me why you're not married. Tell me, why are you not married yet? What do you mean why am I not married? If you're talking about for better or for worse, no. Uh, but for green card, voila, guilty as charged. All right, I understand. <clears throat> I understand. Um, what do you understand? What about you? Me? Uh, still <laughs> enjoying bachelorhood at the age of 35, huh? Enjoying? Yes. Listen, man, I'm getting married. There's this girl called Blessed Man. Yeah. We get it married. Once I go back home, we do the traditional ceremony. I got it. Yes, yes, now. <laughs> so, so you're telling me this? This is like so when you're your royal. Your, 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 no, 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 not exactly. Not exactly. You know? Not exactly. So, yep. what are you gonna do for one whole month? Sit down and watch naked women on TV. Oh, come on, Eddie Walker. You haven't changed. What do you mean I haven't changed? Let you on your rotten mind. Who's talking about sex? Did I talk about sex myself? I'm talking. I'm just here to have a good time. Listen. The law of nature demands that you have a dose of fun before before you get imprisoned by that uh, that institution called marriage. All right, and I, Eddie Walker, will make that happen. You know okay? what? What? I am in New York. Uh -huh. I am audience. Spoil me with fun. I got my Welcome, my brother. Welcome um, to the land of well, gold. Man, right? well done, well done, well Listen, well man, we have a lot to talk about. Definitely, okay? definitely. but there are kinda... more stories from home, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of tired. Okay, no problem. Right? Um, 
You you can take the bed. No, 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 no. I mean, give me a blanket and I'll crash here. You sure? <laughs> I'm fine here. Yeah. I'll get you the yes, my brother. Right, I'll get you the blanket, man. Yeah. Ah. Oh, man. Okay. Zobio, I've gone to my second job. There is food in the fridge. If you prefer fast food, there is a McDonald's two blocks down the street. There is a spare key for you on the dresser in case you need to go out. I will mm -hmm. call you later. Eddie. So where is the food now? Yes, um, please let me have um, potato chips and a bottle of mineral. Excuse me? Potato chips and a bottle of mineral. Um, you speak too fast, so I can't understand you. Can you please repeat that slowly for me? I want potato chips and a bottle of mineral. I still can't understand you, sir. Um, just how long so I can call my manager? Maybe he can help you. Uh, do you Manager up front, please. Ah, oh, dear, dear. Find something to eat. Here, we wipe you, sir. Mail the next person no, in line, no, please. No, wait, 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 wait. It's my accent, right? Okay. Um, I want Perro chips and a bottle of mineral. Look at Perro chips there with bottle of mineral. We, we don't have. Nothing like that here, sir. I think you need to speak to the manager. No. You see, I, I don't need to speak to, to the manager. Eh? Don't, don't, don't even bother. She never can. Can I help you? Uh, yes. Um, I'm looking for... I. Do you have ground nut? What? Ground nut. Ground nut. Ground, ground nut? Yeah, you chew it. Uh, maybe... Cashew nut? No, 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 no. It's smaller. It's smaller. Uh, yeah, it's ground nut. Ground. Oh. Oh smaller. God. Yeah. Maybe peanut. No, no, no. It, it's like this, but it's not like this. It's not this. It's this. Oh my God. Without the shell. Yeah, you know. Like yeah. this. That's what I'm talking about. Ground nut. You're calling yeah, it peanut. Yeah. Okay. Peanut. It's ground nut. Peanut. Okay, oh, whatever. God. Oh. Yeah, that's what okay, I want. Thank yeah, you. What a nice answer. What a nice. Okay. Uh, okay. I pay you here. Yeah? I pay this. Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Ordinary ground. And truth and justice will win out all over cyberspace. Certainly, with the DVD coming out today, uh, and then uh, the amount of collectors. Eyewitness News anchor Jan Davis. Good morning. In the world news today, there has been a coup in Nigeria. What? At the time of this report, it was still not certain who is heading the government. And now for the news in Sudan. Sudan? Gosh! No news, no details, just 10 seconds for a news like this. Gosh, this is... Hey boy. Hey, Good morning. You all right? Looks like I woke you up. But there's been another coup in Nigeria. Another coup? Huh. When did this happen? It was just on the news. Oh. Uh, you know, I just wish this, these coups can bring about some kind of change. So, who's the new president? I don't know. I mean, the news was very vague. New government, no known leader, and they just moved on. Oh. Uh, so, what's the situation now? I can't tell, lady. I can't tell. You know, nobody knows what's happening in Nigeria now. It's not good. <laughs> also, if you tell me, why is this coup different from the rest of them? Who knows what the, the, the new government might do? Well, simple. Stock their pocket with money that belongs to the people. That's what their predecessors have done in the past. 
That's very pessimistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what are we gonna do? I have, I, 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 I have to find out because last time they burnt my office in Surrey. I don't know whether they're gonna do it again. Well, why I, don't you make a phone call? I'll just go downstairs and buy a call. No, don't worry, don't worry. I will, um, I will get it myself. Uh, Shea is that provision store downstairs, right? Yeah, the grocery store. A grocery store, whatever you call it. Cool. something? Yeah, my wallet. Guess who I met on my way out? Who? That your neighbor, that woman. She running like electricity into her apartment. Oh boy, <laughs> you and that woman. Man, is that woman sick or something? I have no idea. Why didn't you go find out? <laughs> I mean, isn't she's been your neighbor for like five years, right? Yes. So, wow. You don't know anything about her? Well, she doesn't know anything about me either. What if she's a dangerous person? Okay, Ozobi, what if I'm a dangerous person? Man, this is America, no, Nasabi. <laughs> Go buy your card, I beg. Fucking here, listen, 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 huh? listen, listen, you don't have to do this. Listen, please, 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 Turn around. Keep your hands to stand back. Let me look. Turn around. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, I, 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 I,
So, so you've been having some dopey experiences, huh? Man, I don't know, man. This is this is. I mean, tell me, how, how do you survive in such a selfish society? Uh, hey, hey, watch your mouth, man. We are not selfish. We are simply independent. You know, you fight your own fight. That's the American way. Anyway, not to get personal. What, what what do you do for a living? Oh, I am a defense attorney. How about you? Oh, I'm a bank manager in Nigeria. Mm. Now, Azovia, you're not gonna like this, though. Like what? What happened? Yo. Your bank. My bank? What happened with my bank? Your bank was one of the offices that were destroyed. No, 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 not again. Who did you speak with? I spoke to your brother. And he told me that a bunch of government buildings and, and offices were destroyed by the rioters. I knew it. With all this humiliation happening to me in just a week, I should have gone home. I, I have to go home. Go where? Listen, man. I know how you feel, okay? But I don't think going home is the right, uh, right decision. Okay? I think you should spend your two weeks here. That gives enough time to clear your head and, and make the proper decision. Oh, what's going on, G? What are y'all talking about? I just lost my job in Nigeria, man. Just like oh, that. Oh, man. I'm sorry to hear that, man. So what are you going to do now? I don't know. I have no idea. This, oh. is, this is just crazy. I, I have no idea. Listen, man, I, I know how you feel, okay? I know how you feel, but relax, take some time, and, and enjoy your vacation. You'll be alright, okay? Enjoy my vacation. That's this is no you. longer a vacation. People who go on vacation go back to their jobs. Where am I going? Hey, hey, dude, <laughs> I forget about your job after tonight. <laughs> I feel you, man. I feel you. Oh, well, I'll finish my food. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I'm gonna clean that. Let me. It's all right. I mean, it's all right. Did you get the money? Nah, the nigga ain't got it. Oh, ain't that your baby daddy? That doesn't mean nothing. Come on, you know that. Look, Please. man, I need this money. When are you going back to the immigration with him? Next week. I told you that beforehand. That's good. Here's what's popping. You tell him you ain't going nowhere uh -huh. until he gives you all the money. But I just told you he doesn't have the money. Look, what? I don't I care if he has the money or not. He's probably some prince from Bernani or something. You don't trust these Africans. Okay, Shorty, I promise I will get you the money somehow, okay? I just, I promise I Look, just, don't I, play with I'm my pregnant. business. I'm, I'm pregnant. Up. Yo, what? I am pregnant. She's gonna choke me up and shit. Who's the father? What, what kind of question? What do you mean, who's the Who father? Who the fuck is the father? Is that the nigga Eddie? Yeah. Okay, Chill that you know head. what? Shut up! Because I told you that Eddie and I have not slept with each other in over one year. You just keep talking all this shit all the time. All the time! What are you talking about? So then who's the father? <sighs> You're joking, right? No. You're kidding, right? No, I'm not kidding. I'm kidding. You gotta be joking. You gotta be joking. Let me tell you something. <sighs> Bitch, you on your you, own. Oh, you just gonna call me bitch in my face like that? And, and I'm pregnant? And, and make Eddie the father. What the f So you just gonna leave? Shut up, I hate you! Uh, 
I don't know. Why don't you find out? Come on, I'll introduce you. Okay. Woo. Yo, yo, yo. Ozobio. Hey. Uh, this is Whitney, my friend. Whitney, meet Ozobio, my cousin. Hi. It's nice to meet you, Ozobio. Nice to make your acquaintance. Um, hey, hey. I'm going to leave you guys together, all right? Uh, I'm going to go get my groove on. All right, man. <laughs> Take it easy. Huh? All right. <laughs> Yes. Sit down, please. Thank you. So, I hear you're new in New York. Yeah, I've been here for two weeks now, yeah. You like? Like what? <laughs> new York. Oh, New York New York is absolutely beautiful. Um, but I've been unfortunate with the people I've come in contact with so far, honestly. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right. Can yeah. I buy you a drink? Where are my manners? I should be asking you that. No, um, it's okay. I can get it. No, no, I'll get a drink. Um, well, if you're buying, then I'm paying. Come on, come on, come on, wait a minute. What type of arrangement is that? Where I come from, a man buys drinks for the woman. Says who? If a woman feels like buying a man a drink, then the man should be gracious enough to accept it. Oh, well, well, true, but it sends out a negative vibe. What planet are you from? Don't tell me that you're one of those male chauvinist people. No, 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 I'm not. But it's not appropriate for a, a woman to buy a drink for a man, especially in a club. <sighs> this is America, honey. And we do whatever we please. We buy drinks for whomever we damn well please. Anyway, but okay. Don't get offended, okay? I'll I, I make you a deal, mm -hmm. all right? How about this? I buy you a drink this night. Mm -hmm. If we run into each other next time, anywhere, you owe me a drink and a dance. How about that? It's a deal. Good. Please, Mr. Cobbler, mend my broken heart. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you, you look fine. What are you doing here? Excuse me, I didn't see an Anita band on public places. No, 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 that, that, that's not what I mean. I, I mean, I just was not expecting you. Let's dance, all right? Okay. Let's, let's dance. Come on. Oh. What's going on with you? Why are you crying? Eddie. You've been over backwards, and I've done nothing but to bring you pain, and I wanted to... I... Oh, oh, let, let, let's go sit down, all right? Let's, let's go sit down and talk about this. What's going on with you? Does... I... I just... Yeah, talk, talk to me, talk to I, me. I know, but I mean... I... Sit, sit down, sit down. What's, what's going See, on? I came here to tell you that... Like that, that what? That I'm moving out of New York. Moving? Why this sudden... Listen, I know we've had our differences in the past, okay? But I think we can work things out. What? Are you kidding me? I mean, seriously, listen to yourself. Do you hear what you're saying? I mean, we come from two different worlds. You're smart and educated, and I'm a jobless alcoholic. I mean... Honey, you were not always an alcoholic, okay? I believe if, if you pull yourself together, you'll be all right, okay? I don't understand why these things happen. I mean, Listen, you... there, are, there are reasons why our paths have crossed, okay? I know, but you're just doing this because I know that if I move out of New York that you think that you won't get your dream green card. Green card? Who's talking about green card, okay? I'm worried about you, okay? I believe you'll get better with people that love you, okay? So moving out of New York is not going to solve anything. If we do this, then you have to promise to be there for me. Listen, I promise, okay? I promise with all my heart, I'll be there for you, okay? Let's not talk about this. Let's just go have fun. Let's, go, let's dance, all right? I'm happy to see you. Come on. Eddie. 
eat? Yeah. Thank you. For what? For everything. Everything? Yeah. Uh-uh, uh-uh, you haven't seen anything yet. That's why I'm thanking you. Anybody else would have thrown me out. Listen, honey, you are the mother of my child, okay? My wife. And you know how much I love my son, right? I'll do anything for him. So, um, Eddie. Uh huh? Tell me, why did you leave Nigeria? Oh, that's a story for another time. No, I want to know. I mean, did you commit some kind of crime or maybe? Yep, crime? yep, yep, yep. I committed a crime. I was born rich. Really? Yep. No, don't get all philosophical on me. I mean, what happened? What do you mean? All right, what do you want to hear from me? Tell me. What do you want to hear from me? Um, that I am a political refugee? No. Or maybe I defrauded my government and fled? No. Oh, better still, let me see. Hmm. I am some rich oil yeah. baron seeking political asylum, huh? Yeah, why not? If I were any of those, I would not be here today, okay? <laughs> Sorry, you didn't need to pry into your private life. No. <laughs> You're not prying. I was born in this small town in Nigeria. God blessed us with an abundance of natural resources, especially oil. And this blessing attracted different foreign investors. Okay. Mobile, Shell, Exxon, you name them, they all enjoyed the bounties of my village. My father, may his soul rest in peace. Sorry. My father toiled daily at the refineries just to eke out enough to put food on our table, clothes on our back, and to send us to school. And my mother, she, she died shortly after because she could not be at the brunt alone. I, I was left at the age of 10 to, to fend for, my, for myself and my younger ones. Yeah. That's enough, Eddie. I don't want to hear anymore. No. I went to the farm every morning, you know, to, to harvest whatever fruits or vegetables were available. That was our only source of income. Yeah. One day, it had barely stopped raining, you know, and, and Ture, th that's my younger sister, okay. Ture and I went to the farm to plant some corn, and my, my uncle, he, he came in and made us this, this proposition. Well, what was the proposition? He offered to buy my family's piece of land, our only source of hope. Well, there wasn't any compensation? They offered compensation all right, but it was just to their own advantage. So what did you do? I said no. I mean, I thought saying no was enough, but I soon realized that he was, he was part of a bunch of criminals and, and rogues. <laughs> One night, Good night. Give me a good reason why she's not right now. Stand up! Ah! Get up! Get up! Ah! Ah! We heard that you are planning to overthrow the government. I don't know anybody in the government to ask you. Shut up. I don't want to be here. Right here. Right here.
that's exactly how I became a murderer and a fugitive. I mean, no one could believe that I didn't kill that soldier. So then what happened to your other sister? I came back at night and secretly buried her. I mean, I was hunted from bush to bush and this, this Catholic priest found me and voila, I'm in the U.S. I'm sorry. Come here. And your other sister? I've never seen her since then. I gotta go to work again. Okay. Um, Eddie, I have to tell you something. I can't wait till I come back from work, okay? No, I... I have to tell you something. Uh, what is so serious? I can't wait till I come back from work. Yeah, it's okay. I'll, I'll tell you when you get back from work. Okay, yeah. Okay. Bye. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. No, I'm off to work. Oh. Ah, I thought you left already. Oh no. Hey, listen. Anita is in the bedroom. I keep a very good eye on her. I don't trust her. Nah, I don't understand you and this Anita. One moment you are in love, the next moment you don't trust her. What is going on? Wait, listen, I'll explain everything, alright? I'm almost there, okay? Don't worry, I'll explain it. Okay. okay? I'll see you later. Hello, Irma? Yeah, yeah. Um, can you meet up with me? Nah, nah. Ah, right, yeah, yeah. Um, meet me at the promenade. Yeah, the promenade. So last night, I you bought this? Yes, the I exact this. same thing. The same one. Oh my god, that's like so fly. Wait. Irma, I just got myself into a big mess. What is it? Irma. Irma, I'm pregnant. What? Congratulations, you should be jubilated. No, Arma, the question is from whom? Should I ask or you wanna tell me? Well, see, uh, it's Shorty. And how is that a problem? Because he said he doesn't wanna have anything to do with the pregnancy. You're rich for son of a bitch. I know. I'm so sorry to hear that, so what are you gonna do? Last night, I kinda seduced Eddie. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Don't tell me we're trying to pass up the responsibilities to Eddie. I know I was, but then I started feeling all bad and stuff. I mean, I, and I know Eddie doesn't love you. He's just hanging in there for his green card. No, but I really think he does love you. Grow me. up, Anita. You and Eddie went into this day with your eyes open. You made a terrible mistake that resulted in an adorable child. You know what he wants, you know what you want. Don't make it any more complicated than it is. Once he's get his green card, he's gonna dump you like a sack of vegetables. Plus, his Nigerian wife is probably counting the number of days left. Now that you owe the scale, you better make use of it. No matter what you tell him, his reaction will always gonna favor you. I know, but he doesn't have a Nigerian wife. Are you falling in love with him? I think I am. Oh man, this was supposed to be a contract. You weren't supposed to fall in love with him. Now that you have, you've lost the trump card, girl. I know, but Eddie's such a good man, you know? And I mean, I've messed up everything. I mean, everything. The least that I can do for my child is to give him his father. No, you know I haven't played this game in a long time. Okay, wait, 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 man. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, take this free. I'll put your game back. I don't want any excuse when I beat you. Okay. Okay, let's see what we have here. So, did you call Nigeria yet? No, I tried that line and it says um, all drunks are busy or the number you are calling is not available. I mean, when is it going to be available? Why do you just make double moves, man? What's your problem? Which double move? 
How come you all? Oh, okay, play, 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 play. Uh, this year, why you, man? Play. What's up, you? This year, why you? There's no why you. Oh, uh, no, wow. Uh, play your game. Move your game. Just kuro kuro, you want you. You're just looking for excuses. Play. Alright. So, have you decided to stay back? No. Oh. Uh, they didn't extend my visa, so. What am I staying back for? I mean, I have to go back to Nigeria. Man, I still think you have a better chance of getting a better job here. Well, I have my contacts in Nigeria, my friends, my colleagues. All the people that can help me survive in there. I laid a lot of foundation for me to just leave it like that and stay here. So, even though they didn't extend the visa, I don't have a problem. I will just go back and take my chances. You know, you just killed yourself, you know that, right? Oh, yeah. Don't mind. Here, take this one. How did I kill myself? Uh, take that one, then you... Have, wait, don't make too much noise. Watch. One. Two. Where? <laughs> okay, okay, two. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Where do you think you were going? Go ahead. So, all of these in your the game, this is it. Too much talk. Okay, here. Oh, now, nah, uh, tomorrow, don't forget. I'm going for the immigration interview. Which interview? Nah, the one, the immigration interview now. Oh, oh, the one for the green card thing? Yes, oh, it's tomorrow? Tomorrow, so uh, you're going to come down and tell me to do interview. No problem, did you call her? Why do I need to call her? I, I heard they can change their mind at the 11th hour. Shouldn't you be petting her now? Uh, I think Aneta is okay. Here, take that one. I don't understand you and the other Aneta. Sometimes you express such confidence in her. Hold on. Save time and let me beat you here and... No, no! Yeah, yeah, man. Who is it? Anita! Yeah. Hi, Anita. Hey, Zobio. Mm -hmm. Hi. How are you? It's fine. If you and I were just talking about you. <laughs> oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't believe anything you have to say. Even the good ones? Even the good ones. <laughs> Not very modest of you. Right. Jack Bubba, let's go play some game outside, alright? Hey, so, you ready for tomorrow? Yep, I know everything about you that I need to know. Sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You don't think we need a recap? I don't think so, but if you want to go over some stuff, let me get something to eat first. I'm kind of hungry. Okay, yeah. I think uh, he made some across soon. Okay, I'm gonna go get it. I'll be in the kitchen. <laughs> the United States in 1990 and in 1992 you applied for political asylum. What happened to that case? I had to withdraw it when I decided to adjust my status. What is the political situation in your country today? Two weeks ago I should have said um, stable but they just had a bloody coup. How long have you two been married? Three years. How did you meet? Through a mutual friend. Who is that mutual friend? Irma, Irma Jones. Jones. Do you have any photographs of your... Um, here we go. Who are you? Get out of my office right now. Get out before I call security. Do you have an album? Do you know this man either of you? Nope. No, nope. I don't know who that was. Anyway, let me have two photographs that you don't mind parting with and any other documents you have in that folder. Just that one. And any other documents you may have in that folder. You said on your form that you had never been arrested, but I'm looking here, you have a police report that you were arrested on the 17th of June. Oh, oh, th th that was a, a, a domestic dispute between myself, my wife and myself. Yeah. All, all charges were dropped. Do you have the discharge papers? I didn't think it was necessary for this proceeding. I don't think it is, but I have them right here. Hold on. Let me get them. Yeah, here. Do you still live in Brooklyn? Yes. My friends and I visited a Nigerian restaurant in uh, Brooklyn last week. Oh. What did you have for dinner last night? Um, Eddie's cousin made okra soup. Okay, do you have your passport today? Oh, yes. You can give that to me now. 
Yes, Your Honor. This is your temporary residence permit for 120 days. You will receive your card in 90 days. Congratulations. Wow. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Congratulations. I'm not sure I'm on here, can I have my fun now? Come on, let's go. We'll be leaving. I'm on it, I'm on it. Congratulations. Yes. Yes. Live on Chandem, Mandel, Mabara, Baramo, Pedi, and you live on Chandem. I can do with a people, Mabara, Barama. Live on Chandem, Mandel, Mabara, Barama. Live on Chandem, Mandel, Mabara, Barama. Live on Chandem, Mandel, Mabara, Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, how you doing? No, 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 I wasn't there. Hey, listen, listen, what you doing tomorrow night? Yeah. I mean, tomorrow night, I mean, Saturday, that's what I'm talking about. Say, listen, um, my cousin just came in from Nigeria and I'm trying to really give him a good time. You think you can bring to one over? Yeah. All right, so it's a date, right? I don't know. Well, why don't you find out when you come, you ask him. I think he's cool. So tomorrow, right? All right, I'll see you guys at five. Good. Bye. Now, what are you doing? What is it? This girl should soon be here now. Oh, oh. I know. I forgot. I'm just gonna... Let me just go and get something. Alright, I'll get the door. The door is open. Coming in. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's hey. up? Oh, same, same here, same here, same here. Hello. Hey, come on in. What's up, baby? Oh, great apartment. Oh, right. See you. Same here. How y'all doing? Janie's in this great apartment. It's beautiful. Mm. Oh, well, nice just. Hey. Nice. Poor, poor guy trying hey, to survive. Okay, you know? honey. Poor guy trying to survive. Doing better than me. So, what's up? Oh, that's the man of the hour. Okay. Hi. Well, y'all met my cousin, right? Oh, your cousin from Nigeria. Nigeria. That's right, oh, Azobio. Welcome, Jeannie. Nice to meet you. Nice That's Tuana. Nice to meet you. I'm all right, thank you. And y'all know myself, right? Oh, know you know. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing sitting here? Um, oh, that's a beautiful place. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. It's I, I just saw it that side. Yeah, it's uh, part of this. Uh, oh. Yeah, that's it. Um, okay. Oh. And while you're over there, Tuana, come over here, baby. Come on. <laughs> Okay, what's going on? You guys want something to drink? I've got red wine. Mmm, that sounds good. Yeah, I'll have some. Yes? Who's going to drive me home? Good. I'll drive you home, don't worry about it. Alright. Okay. Okay. Right back. Good. Why don't you all get acquainted? Eh? <laughs> we shall, we shall. So, Tawana, um, what do you think? He's a seven. Hmm. Think what? How was your trip? <laughs> It was fun. It was like 20 hours to get here from me. Oh, no, no, that's about 15, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. How, how was your trip? Good? It was okay, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah All your fun. luggage came with you? Of course. I didn't have much, though. <laughs> so, what's new in town? I mean, how's Eddie treating you? All right. He's showing you he around has, He has no option. <laughs> he has to treat me well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Tell him, maybe so, we can take him to some club yeah, and show him. Yeah, we go. Yeah, we might. get to definitely. Hey, well, you know, I don't walk out the bar. Right? Oh, okay. so, oh, thank you. Okay. Right thank here. You. Thank you. Well, why don't we toast? Um, yeah. Mm. Well, we toast to friendship. Yes, here, here. Long life and prosperity. Um, <laughs> to a right? To a mm. mm. oh, this So, Jenny, ooh, see, I'm spilling this on myself. You must have got an effect on him, girl. On me. <laughs> you got him all nervous. So, Jenny, what do you think? Kind of good. Yeah, yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at look at him smiling. <laughs> hey, hey, Tuana, let me talk to you for a second. Sure. Oh, you don't want to grab your drink, huh? Um, yeah. so you've been looking around town, you've been shopping yet. How long have you been here? Oh, just a few days. Three days? Have you yeah. been showing around oh, of course, New York, of course, yeah, Statue of Liberty, like... 
Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, that guy never has time anyway because uh, they're yeah. always doing one job or the other. It works in the night, mm -hmm. in the morning. Well, I, I have time in the night and weekends, so I'm going to show you New York like nobody can. All right. Okay. All right, that works. Why don't you show me a little bit around your little digs here? Yeah, it's not it's my nice. apartment. Uh, it's your apartment? Come on. Okay. Come on be assertive. Where do we start? Um, all right, get the drink. Mm, thank um, you. I don't think there's much to show you, but. Oh, I'm sure you can uh, show me something good. Let's start this way. Um, hmm. yeah. I don't know. I can't come to Nigeria right now. I'm not in the near future. You know, but I'll send for you, I mean, sometime, you know. You promise? You'll send for me? What do you mean, promise? Don't you trust me anymore? I, I trust you, but, you know, many people change when they get to America. Oh, okay. Anyway, I, I, I have to go now, okay? I know, dear, I know, but I, I, I have to go. I'll, I'll call you again. I'll call you back. I'll call you, okay? Oh. All right? Okay. All right. Bye. Zobio, you always forget. Zobio. All right. Okay. So you guys are ready to order? Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Um, I'm gonna have filet mignon and boiled asparagus. Mm, that sounds yummy. I'll have boiled shrimp with broccoli. I'll get salmon teriyaki, mm -hmm. and I hope you got brown rice because I love brown rice. Mm, that sounds good. Mm. See anything you like? Nope. I can't see anything I like here. What? Mm. You can't find anything on that long list. Nothing at all. What exactly are you looking for? Something simple, you know, like chicken, rice. Hmm. But there are lots of dishes of chicken and rice here. Yeah. I mean, number three has wild rice. Wild rice. Is that rice? I've never had that one before. <laughs> Come on, guys. Give him a break. You know, he's new here, so... <laughs> what the heck you guys eat in Africa? Some kind of haunted meat? Okay, listen, man. I have a suggestion. Why don't you look at the meat section? Maybe that will help you out, okay? For your information, I eat chicken and fish. Fresh fruit. We pluck them fresh from the tree and we eat. We don't pasteurize them or chemicalize them or treat them as you do your food here. We go to the farm, we get our yam tubers, we cook it, we eat. That's why our people stay healthy. So don't make fun of me because I don't understand your teri teri or white rice menu or something. Whatever hey, you call it. Easy now, okay? Easy. Don't get us wrong, man. We are not making fun of you, all right? But look, I gotta admit, sounds kind of funny. Yeah. Funny? What is funny? That I don't find the kind of dish that I'm familiar with on your menu. That I don't find things like um, a wedu, a, a dodo, a, a dikaiko, and things like that. What did you call that? Edi kaiten. Edu? You can't even pronounce it. Now, does that make you any less of who you are? Uh, let me ask you. Should it be appropriate for me to be laughing at you because you can't even pronounce the meal, talk less of understand it? No. No, you're right. You're right. Alright guys, okay guys, let's cut it out, okay? Alright? Listen, man, I'll, I'll take care of you, alright? I'm gonna get you something really simple, very basic. I'm just gonna get you some basic rice and just simple chicken. Sounds good? Who told you I need your help? I'm fine with my simple meal, chicken and rice. You can eat your teri teri, white rice, pasgaro juice or whatever you call it. I don't care, just call the waitress, I'm ready. Okay. Waiter? Okay, uh, Mr. <laughs> what is it again? Ozo Azo? Oh, thank you. I can't even say the name. Uh, I'm sorry. Listen, okay guys. Uh, it came to $14 a piece. $14 everything. That's fine. No, 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 no. $14 for each one of us, mm -hmm. alright? Right what? Well, you're gonna pay your own bill. Didn't you invite us to dinner? <laughs> yes, but you still have to pay your own individual bill. You invite us to dinner? Uh-huh. And we pay for the meal? Right. And the ladies too? They ate and drank, didn't they? Don't worry, Sylvia, I'll, I'll pay no, no, you, you, you wait, wait. It's not about the money. It's the principle, wait. 
I mean, you invite someone to dinner, mm -hmm. and then the person pays for the dinner. Right. Why? I could have stayed home. Anyway, it's just that it's not gentlemanly to bring a lady to dinner and then have her pay. Her pay is all right. I, I don't understand you Africans and women. You boast about taking care of the woman, yet you marry four more boys at the same time. Hmm. Plus the, the concubines. How does that work? Let, let, me, let me tell you something. I've heard <laughs> that some of these African guys, they can't even recognize all their children. You're kidding. It's messed up. Yeah. Oh, you're oh, kidding. God. Enough of all the talking. I beg your pardon. Wait, wait, wait. You have to be educated about your heritage, you know. You have to take time and study the history of your forefathers and you better understand things. You see, for instance, do you know that there are at least 53 recognized countries in Africa with all of them having different tribes, culture, tradition and all that? Are you kidding? Get out of here. Talking to Let me show you the way dance. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Hey man. Oh. That was something else. Oh my god, I didn't know you were such a good dancer. You were not oh. bad yourself. I haven't had this much fun in a long yeah, time. Me too, me too. Mm, so Boy. tell me, Azobi, um, do you have any kids? Kids? Mm -hmm. Uh <laughs> no, no. No kids. No, no, I didn't mean to startle you. I mean it's no big deal. I have three myself, you know. Hey, three. Wow. Um, uh, Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. You I'm seem fine. surprised. No, no. I mean, it's oh. uh, it's just that I didn't know that uh, you were married. Married? I'm not married. I'm a single parent. Single? Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Sorry to hear that. What happened to their father? Their fathers? I have three baby fathers. One is in the South. One is somewhere here in New York. I don't know where the third one is, and I don't care really. He hasn't seen me since I had the baby anyway. Wow. Uh, three baby fathers. Why? Why? Why three? Why not one? Well, I don't know. The first one happened when I was 15. Barely knew anything then, you know. And the other two, you didn't know when that happened also? Well, I knew, but, um, you know, I mean, I thought the guy loved me and I wanted him to marry me and um, he abandoned me, left me with the baby, ran off, and that was like two years ago. And I haven't seen him since, so. Too bad. And you were with your parents when this was happening? Well, when we used to be small, my father and my mother, they always crawled. My father, like, always like beat up on my mom and she threw his stuff out locked him out he left and never came back you know too bad mm -hmm. and my last baby father he was a crackhead what, you mean a drug addict yeah <laughs> you know he was a crackhead he his parents kicked him out he came to stay with me at my mother's and one day he stole her jewelry and he hit the streets you know, and I kept saying it like an idiot. And my mother kicked me out too, you know what I'm saying? And um, I kind of got involved with crack too. And um, I got pregnant for him because we wanted more money from public assistance, you know? And it was then that they took me into rehab for the sake of my baby. But my baby's fine now, you know? It's been two years. I haven't seen him since I had the baby. And um, I'm not even sure he's still alive, you know? But um, I'm doing okay now. I'm doing good. And um, I got my act together and I'm, and I'm fine now, you know? Mm, mm. Um, I'm crazy. <laughs> no, no, you're not. Don't oh, mind no, me. Don't mind, don't mind me. Okay. But um, I'm sorry for bothering you with all my problems. It's but, all right. Um, no. Up until this moment, no one had really seemed to genuinely no, care. No. Come on, come on, come on. Come. You know? it's, it's all right. It's okay. Uh, eh? It's all right. Uh, <laughs> There's no way I'm going to be baby father number four. Mm. It's okay. No, there's a difference. Not the same Something has changed I think I'm the same man So Mr. Ozibo You have quite an impressive resume Thank you I think you will make a fine addition to our company Thank you very much So you will just give me your green card And your social security card We can get you started right away I don't have those. Uh, well, you can go home and tomorrow you can bring them in and we'll start tomorrow then. Thank you very much. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. There's something about last words Darling, once they are spoken The curtain comes down Spoken, the curtain comes down Seem that important 
How was the job search? Man, I've gone around the whole New York City looking for a job. This job thing is it's not getting any funnier, believe me. I'm What's tired, up? man. I'm tired. What's up? Sit down. Ah. Look at me. Look at me. No, I thought oh. I'm, I'm listening. Do I look stupid to you? Why? Do you think those of us who accept menial jobs are stupid? Granted, you're a bank manager in Nigeria. You have your masters and all of that. But as far as America is concerned, you do not exist. You have no green card, no social security number, no experience as far as America is concerned. You can stamp the entire Wall Street. No one's going to hire you. Chief Obidike has offered you his green card. No, no, no. Don't even go there, please. I beg. I'm not going to take up another person's name, another person's identity just because I want to get a job. <laughs> no way. Azobia. You have to lower your standard. Lower my standard? Like how? I'm a banker. That's what I'm trained to do. I'm trained to be a banker. What is? What, what should I do? You're a banker, yes. At this moment, you're not a banker. You're in America. Okay, you need time. You have to pay your dues. Listen, I don't know what you want to do, all right? I don't know what you want to do. You want some cereal? I got the farina. Did you... Is that farina still left? Well, you had the last of it yesterday. Now, you're always eating all this farina in this house, man. Which one you guys Let me go and get some farina. I hope the market is coming. Just take off my clothes and see I don't know how you plan to pull this off, but be very careful with my papers. This is my social security card. You don't need my green card, but I'll give you the number anyway. Points to remember. You are 55 years old. You've been in this country for 22 years. You have a wife and four children. You must memorize my date of birth and social security number. Thank you very much, Uncle. The pleasure is mine. Okay. Are you ready for a recap? Oh yeah, sure. Let's try. What is your name? My name is Sogologo Bidika. How old did you say again? 55 years. 55? Yes. Do you have some identification? Oh, sure enough. Uh, here. <clears throat> Mr. O o OBD, the man in this card has some kind of beard and a much older face. Yeah, yeah, th that's me with a beard. If I, if I shave, you know, you see, it, it's me, you know. Yeah. Are you married? No, no. I, I mean, yeah, uh, not in this country. I'm married back in Africa, but here I'm single, you know. Um, on paper, yeah, you know. How do you spell your name, Mr. Dai? Uh, O-G-O-L-O-G-O, -O -O Ogologo, O-B-I-D-I-K, Yobidike. Hmm. Some name you got, I must say. Thank you. Okay. We'll be in touch with you. Uh, th that's it? There's something about uh, them okay. damn last words. There's something about Leah's words, darling, once they are spoken, the curtain comes down. Spoken, the curtain comes down. Didn't seem You're a good man, Mr. Osorio. Thank you. You can make manager. I can, be, I can be able to become a manager, not to carry bags. You look like a manager already. Let's go out there and make some money. Okay, will all these people become managers too? Uh, these people, they're in training. Uh, if they pass, they'll become managers too. Okay. But let's go out there and make some money, you and I, okay? You will explain it to me because I don't understand I this. I will explain it to you, okay? Okay. Let's go. Dress down a little, you know. You, know, you, you, you gotta bring it down, you know. I mean, 
know, I'm the manager, you know. Now, but I'm gonna make you manager too. Believe me, you're gonna love this job. Honest. Great job. Great job. No, no, it's not okay. Uh, man, I, I said, I said I was sorry. <laughs> no, you didn't. FYI, I paid the rent up in this goddamn house. Until I see your share of the rent every goddamn month, I will do as I damn well please. Man, your freeloading days are over, man. Shoot, I can't be be feeding and sheltering a grown ass man. <sighs> Negro, get a job. Come on, babe. Let's go to my room. Hello? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is me. Yes, yes. Yeah. Tomorrow? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know the address. Okay. Thanks. Oh boy, man. <laughs> this one, your, your green like, nah. uh, like you just won the ladder. You remember the security job I told you about in Manhattan? Okay. Yeah, I'm starting there tomorrow. They just called me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean you're starting there tomorrow? Didn't you just turn down a bunch of security officers? I know, man, but now it's the right time I start earning some income or making some money because before this, your roommate chops off my head. I mean, I can't take it anymore, man. I have to start something. Yeah. That, my brother, is the spirit. Well, congratulations, Thank man. you, man. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Uh, Jenny. Yeah, hi Jenny. Uh, yeah, I just yeah, I've been trying, you know, I went for some interviews and all that. Not no, that one didn't work well, but I'm starting somewhere tomorrow. Yeah, oh uh, you are the at the club, eh? Okay. Alright, uh, you there now, eh? Alright, I'll see you. Okay. Alright, bye. <laughs> No, no. Looks like you and this Gina are Man, forget that thing, man. She wants to see me. I don't know what she wants to talk about. I'll, I'll go look at it. What do you mean you don't know what she wants to talk about? Hey, listen, looks like she has a heart for you. And now that she has something for you, why don't you ask her to marry you? Ask her to marry me? Yes. Nah, no, you, think, you think she would do it? Nah, no, that is the only way you can get a green card now. Man, I got blessing in Nigeria, man. I don't want to get married. It's crazy, so you keep talking about this blessing. Listen, Ginny has a heart for you right now. Well, granted, she has four kids, but she's not asking you to take care of them. So, 
Anyway, let me see her. Let me see what she has to say. And, and oh man, I don't know. Hey, bottom line, she says no. But just talk to her. I'll try. All right. Okay. What you're gonna change your clothes, right? No, I'm gonna. Oh, you, yeah. can't, you can't go like that. I put on something, man. I might go for a wedding. I put on something, man. Go on, man. Go on. Oh, oh Lord. Wait. Sorry, sorry to keep you waiting. Don't make this a habit, okay? Sorry, sorry. I'm the starving. train was horrible. Come on, sorry, let's get something to eat. Let's get something, good. okay? Let's sit down. Hey. Good to see you again, though. Yeah. Considering. Yeah, sorry about that. Late, trend. late, late. So, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm taking care of my kids, you know, doing the daily stuff. You like kids, don't you? Of course, of course. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, so how's, how's your nightlife going? You enjoying New York? I tell you, it's not been easy. But hey, that's America. What am I gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. good to see you. Oh, boy. Mm. You can Thank take you. this back. Oh. Thank you. Mm. Anyway, let's cheers. Oh. So, um, what's going on? Nothing, you know. Mm. Stay hanging in there. Yeah, <laughs> but it looks like you have something on your mind, though. You no, can't hold No, um, I have a situation, mm. you know. Um, your visa expired. Don't be ashamed, just say it. I mean, your cousin told me. I'll help you, I'll do it, I'll marry you. You will? That's very kind of you. Oh my God, that would be such a big relief. I mean, there's something, though. Mm. What is it? Nothing, nothing. It's okay. Well, there's something, you see, I can't pay you upfront. I just started working and I don't have enough money. But with time, with time, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure I, 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 pay, I pay you upfront. I'm not asking you to pay me. I'm not asking you to pay You're me. not? Mm -hmm. you, you do it for free? Mm -hmm. That's very kind of you, my Hold God. Hold on, Cynthia. Hold on. I'm not asking you to pay me any more than what public assistance in Section 8 would pay to cover the difference of the rent. You just pay the difference. Pretty much it. Okay, that, that's that would be kind. And also, I need you to be a father to my kids. What? what um, well, that's no big deal, anyways. Uh, I have brothers and sisters, so I can treat your children like I treat my brothers and sisters. So you're not gonna treat my kids like you're African folk, are you? There is no justification in child abuse. I'm I, sorry. I agree. I agree. There is no justification in child abuse, but it all depends on interpretation. You see, the person I am today is because of my father's disciplinary measures, believe me. Hmm. Good for you, but I'm forewarning you, the day that you touch my kids is the day that you feel my wrath. I love my children. I don't need to whip my children to show I love them. You don't even have to worry. I mean, I'm not moving in with you and your children. AD and I are looking for an apartment to rent. A room to rent? Are you moving from Eddie's apartment? And I can't stand that Eddie's roommate. That guy is something else. Why don't you move in with me? Moving with you? Come on, Jenny. Yeah. You've been generous enough. I'm not going to move into inconvenience. Right now. you and your children. My kids need a father, and I can't think of a better person. I mean, <laughs> think about it. It's an open offer. You promise you'll send for me. Do you, Ozobio, take Jenny as your lawful wedded wife to have and to cherish in sickness and in health for richer and for poorer to death do you part? Yes, I do. Do you, Jenny, take Ozobio as your lawful wedded husband to have and to cherish in sickness and in health for richer and for poorer to death do you part? I do. By the powers vested in me by the state of New York, I pronounce you husband and wife. You make his bride. Think we're seeing the end. 
Baby, it's far from over I think we're caught in a crossfire Baby, you know it's not over I think we're gonna quit How is she? She's fine. Except that she lost a lot of blood. I will need some time to recover. Oh, oh thank God. For, for a second, I, th I thought she was going to die. Sorry about it, baby. What? You're aware that your wife was four months pregnant. What are you talking Four months pregnant? Yes, pregnant. Can I see her? Yes, you can see her. But please try not to upset her. Uh, okay. Pregnant? How could you hide such news from me? I'm sorry. No, no, you don't have anything to worry about, okay? Your, your health is the most important thing right now, all right? No, Eddie, um, I'm sorry. To, what? The baby wasn't yours. What? Grapes. Okay. 
Oh, oh my god, what are you cooking? Stockfish, your buroko is an African delicacy. Oh, it smells like corpse. I mean, turn, turn it off. I'm cooking some slow, but when I finish cooking, it will like. Turn it off! Food. What kind of off don't you understand? Why the hell, where were you last night? I was at work, of course. Work? We hardly spend any more time together. What do you want me to do? I mean, quit my job? If you don't start performing your responsibilities as a man, I'm gonna get somebody to do it for you. into the sink that it was smelly. It's stockfish! Stockfish, man! <laughs> I know I not have to take it easy with her, but how long? This is not what I expected. Buy flour for her on top of... to, cut, to cut, calm her down. Okay. Mm. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna try, but this is not what I expected, honestly. This is not what I expected. Honestly, but I, I'll buy her flower and I'll, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, she's. Yeah, she went. In. Yeah. All right. Hello. Wait till I get out of the bathroom. I mean, don't you love me? You walk in here and see me with another man and just walk up like you don't care. What's wrong with you? I don't see why that is a problem. After all, you are having fun. Having fun? What kind of a husband are you? Son of a bitch, still ignore me. Still ignore me, right? <laughs> you need to pack yourself and get the hell out of my house right now. Why? What? Pack what? your stuff and get out now. What did I say? What did I got a gun for you, alright? I got a gun for you. Don't wait for me. Wait for me right there. Wait for me. Yes, I'm running and I'm dying. Well, I'm looking, I'm sliding and I'm falling. Well, time's moving and I'm seeing, I'm losing. You know it won't take much. Kill that.
to the culture. America. Huh.